to the N4 Learning Channel. I want to talk to you today about networks. BACnet uh, particular for setting this up with a workbench and on your station. I don't use BACnet that much, I use Modbus. I believe that Modbus uh, doesn't use as much resources as what BACnet uses. Hence, I prefer the Modbus. Backnet is good for fan coils uh, where you want to auto discover the fan coils and you can auto discover the points. So, there's not a lot of hard work to do when you're working with backnet fan coils. But, in fact, let me just show you a site with backnet fan coils. So, this is a site with backnet fan coils and what you would normally do if there was no fan coils here you can just click on discover and here will be discovered all the fan coils on the back net network if they're greyed out that means they've already been discovered and they're below here as you can see these are all greyed out so there's 39 fan coils so you discover 39 fan coils as easy as pressing the button and then you would highlight all the 39 fan coils and pressing the shift key down and right at the bottom and then you would drag them which I'm not going to do across to the bottom and then once you've got a fan coil you can go into the points of a fan coil and these are the points here now there's a lot more points than just these but what you can then do is discover and this is discovering the points so these are all the points but there's 116 objects but they only want to eight and you can see all these points here and and it's it's as simple as which i can do this i, I will uh, delete it once i finish it's click on the point and drag it down and that's it that point is there it's that simple So I delete that point out. So this is BACnet. Now let's show you LON. So I think level 12 has LON. That's landlord, sorry, that's not uh, tenants. I need tenants. In fact, let's just go to level 13 tenants. There's your LON network there. So these are the LON fan coils. Again, you can discover and you can bring him in. Let's just have a look at a fan coil with the points that's been brought in. And these are the points that have been brought in. You can also click discover and you can add points from here down to the LAN area if you so wish. Let's delete that one. So BACnet and LON you can discover. BACnet, um, this, the module will either be RS485, uh, MSTP or IP network, Ethernet uh, for the BACnet system and that connection will allow you to see the BACnet network right let's move on so we need to set up backnet on this controller now it may have already been set up uh, if it is I need to delete the backnet from the controller so that we have a fresh station so first of all let me just quickly see whether it's been set up um, I'm just going to add a backnet point 
on the Niagara network uh, on the drivers and see if it will allow me back network there and if it does yeah it will so the driver is still there so I want to get rid of the driver at the moment so I need to go into the platform this on the right hand side you'd go to system home read and there's your modules and there's the back net ones that are already on the controller so I'm going to just delete them from this controller so I've highlighted them and deleted them from there Now, normally you'd have to reboot the station, so I'm going to just quickly do that. So that's now rebooting. So our station's rebooted, as you can see from this line here. The out of date module removed, BACnet RT. So now we don't have BACnet on this station. So now let's log it back into this station again. And we'll go back to drivers. And we're going to install a BACnet driver. BACnet work. Okay. Could not invoke the new command. That's because the driver is not loaded on the station. And you will see missing module backnet. This is what I wanted you to see. So now what we do is we go to services and we go down to software and I can find it software manager so this is in the platform platform software manager and we've got backnet here see it's saying not installed in fact it's that one there not the AWS is that backnet there so you only need to click one of them and it will install the other two this pop up there saying install the other two and then commit to that and then what that will do is install it now sometimes it needs to do a reboot sometimes it doesn't I don't know if this is going to be the case obviously not so now let's go to drivers again new driver back network okay Okay. Just populate down here when it thinks about it. There we go, back network there. So we need to set the, up the network, local device. So we give it a number. So I'm just going to give it a number one. You got a fault there at the moment. Save. You can put a location if you want to. You, you don't need to. But I'll just put uh, MSCP for panel, control panel, save. Now we've got the BACnet comms here and network. And you see you've got IP there. So that's on network number one. And we've got to pick an adapter because this is an IP. So out of the two adapters that we've got, we've got to pick an adapter. So if I pick adapter D0 and save that, that comes up of my IP address of the system that uh, D0 is connected to. 
and at the moment it's still saying disabled there so if I right click that IP and enable that's now enabled so that's your IP done your Ethernet IP for your back network and if we look at what we've got on the back network so we discover discover bars going across the top there and we've got two devices on the back network so I can bring both them devices in just like that and then I can bring the points in by clicking on one of the devices discover so that's going to now discover all the points if there is any which there's just one analog value and I can drag that in so that's backnet over IP now what we're going to do is set up backnet MSTP so you go down to your palette and you type in back and then there's your backnet um, palette and we want network ports MSTP port and what we're going to do is drag that MSTP port to network now this Mac 36 I now has already got two the two ports being used for Modbus at the moment Modbus COM1 and Modbus COM2 just some examples so what I'm going to do now is just delete well not delete just switch off so AX property sheet and disable that COM2 so that's now disabled now go back to MSTP and we need to set this up so we need to give it a network number so I'm just going to give it a network number 2 because we've already got one for the IP and this is going to be COM2 and then you can set the rate to whatever you want so I'll just do 19.2 save now the 19.2 board rate that must be the same rate when you're talking MSTP as the other devices that you are connecting to so if the fan coils via MSTP the board rate must be 19.2 on all the fan coils so you basically find out what all the fan coil board rate is talking at if it's a backnet controller and set your uh, MSTP port up to be the same board rate go back to back network now so we've got a device 1 and a device 2 so when I discover it's not showing at the moment let's just find out why probably not enabled it yeah it's disabled there so right click actions enable so that's now come online now go back to there and discover now I've got two see I've got two ports here now so we know that one's our Ethernet and two is our MSTP and so I'm just going to untick one I don't think I've got anything connected via MSTP and discover I just discovered nothing which I would expect that I don't believe I have anything connected so that's it with your backnet that's how you install backnet IP and MSTP I prefer Modbus as I've said but backnet is very simple but I believe that backnet uses more resources than Modbus hence that's why I prefer Modbus and I, any IO that I use input output modules I would always use Modbus rather than backnet I think that's it for the back network and Modbus well and LON LON I would not use if I had to put an order of preference it would first be Modbus then it'd be backnet and then at the end would be LON I would I would not use LON A I've got to buy an extra module B, I can only use it on a JS8000, I can't use it on a Mac 36 with built in IO. So, LON is not um, 
a good option for me. If anything, Modbus is the best option for me. Thank you for watching.